Geometry Pokemon Jump Rush. The game is called Geometry Pokemon Jump Rush. It's a really solid high-res background. With the um, background, it's really fucking high quality and shit. A single Geometry Ash Spike and the giant creeper. Um, you can clearly see the Pikachu um, icon right over here um, with a cool huge spike. <laughs> That's why with the results. Um, pretty sure um, Edser already made a video about this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he also had early access. We even talked about it on Skype and shit. Um, he was pretty okay about it. Uh, me making a video about this new app from Robtop. Guys, I'm just joking. It's Geometry Dash World. That's the new <laughs> app. And it hasn't even been released. Holy fuck. Um, it just makes me fucking cringe. <laughs> How's it going guys? This is Etzer here and welcome back to Geometry Dash Bootlegs Bootleg. Now in the past I made a video about Tosh. I was pretty respectful about it. I tried to refrain from basically being a jerk to him. Um, essentially just calling him out on some of the videos he makes. The shitty series is essentially just taking levels and removing the decoration, just leaving the gameplay and essentially re-uploading it for views. And he kind of said, like, yeah, whatever. And basically after that whole stuff died down, he just continued to upload um, shitty series and stuff like that. And so I was just like, it's not worth my time. He's just going to do this no matter what, whatever. Um, but I felt it was pretty necessary to make a video again because he's kind of back at it, stealing other people's content. If you'd watched the montage at the beginning of the video, you would have noticed it was a series of clips of Geometry Dash Bootlegs Episode 1, a video that I'm pretty proud of that I spent some time on and then clips of Tosh Deluxe taking his Geometry Dash world review and essentially taking the jokes and just ripping them off and putting them in there. Now my assumption is that Tosh Deluxe is going to play this all off as a joke or as a prank or as kind of his own thing where it's kind of like, I was just doing this to trigger Etzer. So the first five minutes of the Geometry Dash world review is essentially him just playing Geometry Dash bootlegs, including Pokemon Jump. Um, and a lot of it is just taking jokes that I've made and um, basically repeating them, maybe swapping a couple words here and there. Solid high-res background. Really fucking high quality and shit. But in general, some of the editing is even identical. The good thing is the video has a decent amount of dislikes, although it still has 40,000 views. And my guess is he's made a lot of money off of this, so it's still a win for Tosh. The other thing I found funny about the video was he flat out acknowledged that he was basically copying it. For example, in the tags of the video, he includes Etzer as the last one, which, I don't know, it kind of raises a red flag that if Etzer has a series, and then I'm just going to make the same exact series and release it, there was nothing to do with Etzer almost in the entire video besides him briefly mentioning me once, which I'll go over in a second. We even talked about it on Skype and shit. But yeah, it's just a little bit suspicious, and he later added, lol, I triggered Etzer after I, um had a comment feud which I'll also show you in a second. So if we head down to the comments of the video, I responded with, this is quality original content. It even has Etzer in the tags, get my viewers to watch your comedy. This is so great, never stop doing what you do, hilarious. And then he replied, you were mentioned in the video if you actually watch it completely. So I looked back through it and I rewatched it again and I saw only just the Etzer part about the Skype. He said that we had a conversation on Skype. I don't actually have a Skype, I use Discord, um, but of course he replies that there was a totally yes text that popped up during the video, during that part, implying that it was kind of sarcasm, that he didn't actually talk to me on Skype. So I actually watched the video three or four times in order to spot the totally yes. Um, he hides it in the bottom right corner pretty quickly, he only puts it on the screen for about three frames. So I would imagine that most of his 39,000 viewers don't even notice that and just sort of assume that I gave him full permission to do this. So finally, once I saw Totally Yes, I said, oh, I get it now. That was hilarious comedy. Thank you for your input, Mr. Seinfeld. Um, and so he responded, no problem, Rainbow Sir. Oh, wait, because my his icon's rainbow and my icon's rainbow. So he got he kind of got me there. Um, by this logic, however, Tosh is equally guilty. If you look at my logo, it's the eight parentheses face. Um, it's my trademark face, essentially. It's what I use all the time. He uses it a lot. In fact, in his most recent video, Finger Dash 100% Complete, um, work in progress level. So it's not 100% complete, but work in progress level. But that's all right. In that video, in fact, in his comment, he uses that face. So 
he is essentially ripping off my content. Now, of course, I'm joking here. Anybody can use this face, but do you see my point here? It's ridiculous to complain about certain colors or certain text. There's no reason to do it. What's more important is when people take entire videos or entire jokes or content that it has to be original or creative to do and rips them off to make their own video and get profit off of it. I can also foresee Tosh potentially deleting comments, deleting videos, changing descriptions, etc. to make him appear on higher ground. I would suggest not doing that because your fans are so oblivious that you're still going to make money no matter what, so just keep them up anyways. If you look in the description of every one of his videos, he mentions that if you hold copyrights to any material used or you don't want me to reuse the content, you are able to prove that you rightfully own this content. Just tell him and I'll take it down or modify it for your needs. I'll admit, I am triggered that he used my content and so I want him to take down this video. So I am going to email him. Actually, you know what? Better yet, I am going to use Skype because he said we talk on Skype, so I'm going to use Skype. So I have Skype open now and I'm now going to message him about the video. Hey Tosh, I am mad at you and frankly, I am triggered about your video. You steal my jokes and I am angry for that and I humbly request that you take your video down because it violates my copyrighted jokes. Thanks and keep up the great work. I am very excited for your next 10 Geometry Dash World level videos consecutively posted in a period of roughly three hours. Anyways, gotta go. Stay frosty. Kissy face. So hopefully Tosh sees a Skype message. I'm patiently awaiting his response. Um, it should be a good one. So anyways guys, that's gonna do it for this episode of Geometry Dash Bootlegs Bootleg Edition. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I hope you got some information out of this video that you didn't know or maybe you learned something. Um, but I am going to be away for the next couple of days for holidays, so don't expect too many videos. Um, but I will see you guys in 2017.